Clue's Circus Caper is quite a special book for me because this is the last book in the New Adventures of Mary Kate and Ashley series that I had to get. And it was slightly rare and a little bit expensive, not the most expensive. The most expensive one was the case of the unicorn mystery. This one was the second most expensive. But somebody finally listed it for not too bad a price and I grabbed it and decided to read it as soon as it arrived. And it's quite good fun. I have to say the cover design I really like. Uh, this is obviously an ex-library book. And this was published was it, from Manhattan Public Library District in Illinois. Um, this was published quite far into the series, actually. Uh, written by Judy Kachka and published in 2003. So I think this is about midway in the series. And in this episode, or this book, um, Clue has won a competition to take part in the circus show. Bit of a weird competition prize, I know, but nevertheless, Clue wins. And the entire book is set in the circus as Clue is learning to take part in the dog show. But in true trench coat twin style, Things start going badly wrong pretty quickly. I won't say exactly what happens, but equipment gets broken. The dogs are compromised. Things are just getting out of control. And it seems like all of these things are disconnected. So Mary Kate and Ashley, as the trench coat twins, try and work out what is going on. With regards to how easy it is to work out what is happening, I, I, I worked it out pretty quickly who it was. I put my bet on really quickly, uh, really early, and I was right. But what surprised me is the motive or lack of, and I'll explain that with a tiny spoiler warning in a moment, but it certainly is a very different narrative. Um, I think it flowed very well. It really brought the circus theme to life. There is a, a tiger in this, um, a, a real life tiger. And I feel like that shouldn't have really been there because they didn't really play enough of it. Like the tiger's barely in it. And I feel like that could have had a much more exciting role. But it's only really licked at. It's not really touched upon too heavily. So I feel like it's a wasted opportunity. And it would have been better if the tiger just wasn't in it. I think it's a tiger. It's a big cat. Um, try and jog my memory. But yeah, I feel like it's maybe... They try to put too much in it. And it meant that it felt like we were getting a slight glimpse into something that could potentially be exciting. And they didn't really do anything with that and underplayed it quite a bit. Nevertheless, I thought it was pretty good fun. It is very descriptive. I really got the sense that I was in the circus and I could feel you know, the heightened anxiety as things kept going wrong. Definitely a brilliant book for the target audience. Brilliant vocabulary, very easy to follow. Um, and as I said, I could work out who it was, but not why. So I guess a spoiler now. I'll kind of pussyfoot around it slightly, but a spoiler, I'm going to explain what happened at the end. So at the end, they found out that these things were happening by a certain person but accidentally this person never actually meant to do any of these things which is unusual because with all of the books that i've read so far which is maybe 10 maybe just under 10 um there's always been a motive and there's always been a very specific reason for the sabotage or selfishness or something that the person did the culprit did to try and achieve a certain goal but this person kept doing these things accidentally and it made it quite different. I think that maybe made it a little bit harder to work out who it was because there was no clear motive. But as I said, I still kind of hedged my bets pretty early and I was correct. So it's not completely unpredictable. I liked it as the last one for me to have bought. Clue's Circus Caper is a, an absolute delight, brightly coloured, good fun. Definitely worth a read if you're a fan of Mary Kate and Ashley.